Welcome back to Sunny Days with Dawn. On this episode of Getting Crafty With It, I make over a picnic basket and a Goodwill find. This takes place in December 2021, and this is episode one. My picnic basket makeover takes me about a week to complete, but the end results are just fantastic. I love it. So please stick with me and come along for the ride. I'm not sure how many episodes until we get to the end results, but hang in there. Hello, welcome back to Sunny Days with Dawn. It's been a while since I've been out here in my garage um, working on any kind of project, at least a sit down one um, at my table. So today I'm getting crafty with it. I'm going to work on this picnic basket that a friend gave me that um, was actually brown. You can see where some of my paint came off. It was brown and I painted it white um, during the summer, which I took a picture of it before, but um, I think I lost that picture. Anyhow, so I painted it white and what I want to do is to go through it with um, either some green or some blue, just highlighting um, some of the different areas with that color. And then of course maybe gold. I always love when I add gold to something. And then I have the idea of using these transfer stickers. They're rub-on transfer stickers. I've used them before in the past, but I wanted to decorate the top with um, maybe not necessarily the word. But these different um, decals I wanna put on the top. And this one has, um, it says joy and strength, family, forever, friends, thankful, adventure. I thought I'd put some of these on here too, either on the top or on the inside of the lid. On the inside here. This is what it used to look like, was uh, that color brown. And then for the inside, what I'm going to do is take some of this um, material blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. I found this blue check. I was basically wanting to do it more of the green. Um, and I've had this in the back of my mind for quite a long time. Not that I've been thinking about it in the forefront of my mind, but my subconscious has been working on it. And I knew when I found um, the right things that I would finally get to finishing up this project. So I did find these checkered squares that I got, um, that I bought six in. And what I wanna do is just make an inside cover for in here, cover it inside, make it nice and pretty. And then if I have any left over, I maybe make uh, some napkins out of it. Um, I only got six <laughs> blocks, so I'm not sure if it'll make napkins um, either, but hopefully maybe if I need more, the Dollar Tree will have more. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna start on adding the, the, the different colors to this. Maybe even black, since these are black. Maybe highlighting it. I just wanna like white, not kind of whitewash or whatever you call it. Take some black and really um, water it down and maybe wipe it over this and it'll hit the, the high points of it. And then I also have some in gold. Gold. Ooh, and I have these that say summer. <laughs> but I think what I'm gonna stick to is the black and white. So, let me get my paint out and get started. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I found some of this metallic black that I have, and I squirted it out in this little cup, and then I added some water to it. So I'm just mixing it up. I'm gonna test it out on the inside of this, just in case, um, oops, just in case uh, <laughs> it's not right. And see how it works. See how this works. Let's 
I may have to have some white ready to go back over it because I didn't want um, that big chunk of black. Anyways, I was just testing it out. Yeah, that's what I wanted, like that. Just to um, hit it up with some black. I need to mix me up some more paint. <laughs> Momentito. All right, I got the black on there, but I think what I want to do is um, hit it up with some white again on the areas, like parts of the top that I think are too um, dark. So I'm going to use some of my metallic white. Plus, I got to put, uh, put some over that wood spot that's showing. Even though it was spray paint that I painted on here. Um, I'm going to see if this white will work and covering that up. This is just some metallic white that came in my one, two, three, four, six pack of these metallic colors, which I just love. This is my favorite, favorite um, palette to use. Oh, I laid my glasses down on the lens. All right, let me get a paintbrush. And get going with this and see <laughs> see how I like it it's just a little too gray I want more white showing through that's not quite giving me the effect I want let's try um, I need it more white around the corners because that's where I'm going to put the stickers. And I can't have the stickers not visible. <laughs> I'm already out of my white paint. So, so, let me pour some more. Maybe I'll try a different white because this is more expensive because it's like, whoop, I almost fell down because it's metallic white. Let me look for um, a different white. Okay. I have my Dollar Tree white. Because <laughs> that uh, it looks like it's going to take so much of that other paint. And um, that's more expensive. All right, let's try this. I 
I have it in my head. I'm <laughs> pretty much of the results I'm trying to achieve. And when my eyes see it, then I'll know. great <laughs> I wanted it more um, I wanted more of the black and white to be distincted distincted distinguished <laughs> distincted I think I just made a word I'm just making this up as I go along I can't do the handles yet, of course, because um, I gotta hold it by the handles. Ah, I have a piece coming off right here. I'm gonna have to super do that. All right, I decided to get some of my black of this paint and not water it down and just hit up some of the high areas. Just lick it back and forth. Because I do want to be able to see that it is black not gray <laughs> i wanted this to be black and white but it's okay to have the gray undertones I'm, I'm fine with that but i want black showing through so you can definitely see that's black all right let me turn some of this on the top ah, i can't touch it anyway <laughs> I definitely got to let it dry before I move on to my next step. Bear with me. I got to put it somewhere to dry because there's another project I want to work on while this is drying. Momentito. All right. The other thing I wanted to work on was this, which was one of my Goodwill finds a while back when I, um, I bought my t-shirts to cut up and I found them plant stand and um, some of these different little items. This I finally figured out that I want to, that I'm, I started using it a couple of days ago on my stove to put um, spices in. I just want to jazz it up a little bit, maybe um, highlight it with some gold um, because most of my kitchen has green and gold items that I've painted. So um, I still like the brown wood color, but I just want to highlight some areas with gold. So. Momentico, hold on for that. Do you want to get closer? Come over here. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I really like it and I like the intricate um, design on here. So I don't want to mess it up. And I like the wood. So um, if I mess it up, that means I would have to paint it and I don't want to have to paint it, the whole thing. So I'm just going to try to hit it up with some of this gold um, paint marker that I have. And we'll see what that did. Sure. Ah, think I'll mess it up then. Well, you know, if I don't like this side, I can always just turn it and use the other side.
<laughs> it's kind of hard to. Uh... I just love the intricate woodwork on here and that's what I was wanting to highlight. It's given me, um, I don't know, like an East Indian kind of feel. Oh, I gotta get my hand just right but I can't touch the other part. I want that line so thick. Ah, thick and thin. That reminded me of an old black person. song. Thick and thin. Just about anything reminds me of a song. Before. After. I think what I want to do is add some gold. So I got this gold. And I just want to go um, over the top edge of this. This always makes it look better. <laughs> I wasn't putting it to the side where you can see. It's always just, oh, I just love what this does to it. I think I like this better than the paint marker. <laughs> I did a lot more than I was planning on doing. I just love this gold. I just thought the marker would be easier going around that intricate design. But I love this, this gold better. Maybe if I streak it. Oh yeah, I'm liking it better already. <laughs> just drinking some gold through it. All right, I'll keep working on it and I'll show you the end result. All right, I decided I do like that, using the marker um, to just detail the intricate design of that and then hitting it up with the gold paintbrush. So I'm gonna do, I'm working on doing this side. So I'm tracing it out again. Okay, so I got this side traced out, and then I'm just going to hit it up with my gold. Just streak it on there. It's hard for me to see it and show the camera. <laughs> Yeah, now it's got some pizzazz. I knew in my head I wanted it to look like this. I don't know why I get afraid. <laughs> well, because I don't want to mess stuff up. But anytime I've added gold to something, I've always liked it so much better. All right, let me step back and take a look at it. Momentito. I think I'm liking it. I don't know if the camera's picking up how pretty it looks. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous now. Oh, 
All right, so we'll let this dry. We'll see how the picnic basket's doing. Well, I didn't get back to the picnic basket until the next day. And I also found another project that I had started a while back that I decided to work some more on. What will I end up doing? Hmm. I think I find one of my old turtles and frogs that I bought a while back at the 99 cent store that I'm going to redo. So stay tuned for episode two of my picnic basket makeover coming soon.